Now, a quick video on how to cut holes in geometry um, an unusual way and then the usual way so here we go so we've got some polygons to select let's deselect for a minute so we're going to go and select uh, this guy let's just use the select thing with that on it and how to move it and just check we haven't selected look we've selected an extra one hold alt just check we've only got the four polygons so this is a unusual method so I've got four polygons. What we want to do is create a circle from this. So I'm going to go here and add a spherify modifier. How weird is that? So if we can actually read what we're looking for, where's spherify? There we go. Bloop. So it does something really weird with the geometry, but it is sort of round looking. So that sort of might do it. So okay. Now let's go here, go and add now another edit poly. Okay, and then we we'll go to polygons to select. Hit delete, so that's all cool. We're then going to go and select the border and hit cap, cap that, then go to polygon, select the polygon, and then we're going to go up here. I don't need all that, do we? Uh, we can go to inset, so go inset a little bit, then we're going to go to extrude, 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 and then inset a couple of times, inset, and then inset, and then we're all cool. So that's good. Let's go and put some holding edges in. So let's go to swift loop here. So we want one there, we want one there, we want one there, we want one there, we want one there. So that's got the tops done. Just need to do the bottom. And that should be enough now. So okay, so that's that. Go to edit poly, add a turbo smooth, T for turbo smooth, add two ping pong bats on it, go isoline display, click off the model, and there we go. So that's cool. So that was using four polygons. How can we do it with one polygon? So let's go back into this again. We'll, we'll do it a different way as well. So actually we'll do it several ways. So we go here, switch turbo smooth off, back to this one. I want to hold just here. So I'll go to edit poly. Select a single vertex which we've just got selected. Just checking we've got it selected. That's the only one we've got selected, yeah. Um, you can put ignore back facing on to help your selections, but I always, um, well, I don't always, I mostly check. <laughs> so, what we need to do now is we're going to go and chamfer that. So, click on chamfer, click and drag, gets us, we'll make it say that big. That will sort of do, won't it? Okay. And then what we're going to do now is turn that into a circle. So what we need to do now is go to the cut tool and go um, from here to there, right and click, from there to there, right and click, from there to there, right and click, and from there to there, right and click. Okay, so we've now got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I just need to convert that into a uh, edge selection. So click on Control Edges. It does too many. Switch the Cut Tool off. Hold down the Alt key. Just drag over the ones you actually don't want. So now we've got those selected here. Just check. Yeah, looking good. Okay, flip flop back down to here, and we're going to go because we've got edges on. We can now switch on Loop Tools. He says definitely looking for loops so loops hold here loop tools and we can go and click on circle so that gives us a circle it's squished it round so this is one way of doing it and then we can go to the e key and rotate it back again so it's sort of straight looking uh, that's pretty much cool okay and then go to uh, click on polygons and uh, shrink one here we go and with that Okay, so a couple of things are not quite, my my cutting isn't very good, is it? So that's not really done a very good job of it. So what I'm going to do, I am going to go here, and so it, it's sort of tried to do a circle. It's not quite done it, has it? And that's down to my cuts not being brilliant, not going to the centre of these things. So let's go and fix that. So let's go to a 2D shape, and we're going to go to a Engon and choose eight sides and auto grid and just basically click and drag it on here so that's where I want it to be so that's cool 
and we'll change the color to being black so that's all good and groovy okay so go to here so now we can see this we'll click on this guy and what we're going to do is we're going to use some snapping so go to here uh, sorry right and right and click going to go to vertex snap okay close that down switch it on uh, i'm going to go to edit poly points we are going to zoom in a bit and basically not rotate Stephen. we're going to grab this guy snap to that guy this guy snap to that guy hang on deselect this guy snap to that guy had all the uh, points selected bit of a silly man but there you go do, do, do. So that's all cool. That goes to there. That goes to there. That goes to there. That goes to there. Okay, we turn snapping off. Uh, there we go. Okay, so we've got that. So now we've got a nice proper shape done. Now we can go back to polygons and we can go and do an inset. Just do the normal thing. Actually, we'll do an extrude this time. Do a little bit of an extrude. And a lot of an extrude and a little bit of an extrude and then we're going to go and do an inset and an inset and with that we've just got a very nice circle made from one polygon which is uh, all cool uh, yeah so yeah so spherify gets us some stuff this it gets us round things when it goes wrong we can fix it with an end on basically um, we can also do, let's, while, while we're here, I'll switch this off, we'll go in here and we'll do a, we'll do a 6, how about that, we'll try doing that, see if we can ruin this video, you never know, we do, we're trying people, so we've got that, so we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, haven't we, yeah, so I want to now turn that, into let's go and do um, inset okay we'll say that's cool and with this I want to set this now to being a let's go to shapes and we'll go to engon we're going to knock it down to six and we're going to put it sort of here how about that that sounds good and then we can go out a bit select this guy Actually, let's select that guy again. Change to a colour that we can actually see. Be useful. There we go. So going to this guy now, and we can probably rotate him as well. Let's just do that. Dun, dun, dun. We'll put him onto angle snap, and we'll rotate him so he's that way around. There we go. Right now, I can go to here. We'll get there in a minute. <laughs> uh, edit poly uh, vertices. None selected currently. We'll put on snapping. We're going to snap this guy. Oh, good if we do it in move, Stephen. That'd be good. So select this guy. He goes to there. He goes to there. He goes to there. He goes to there. Uh, that's all cool. He goes to there. Right. So that's my six. Cool. Switch snapping off. Go to this guy, got him selected. All we're going to do again is inset, inset slightly. We'll go um, in instead this time, that far, that far, that far, and then we'll go inset, inset. Okay. So there we go. That's another one. That's one with six then. So we can hide, get rid of this guy. Okay, and then switch that off. So there you go. So that's a six-sided one. That's a single polygon we've done that turns it into an eight-sided one. And that was four polygons. And there you go. That's how to do insetting and outsetting and circular things. And how to fix things when they sort of go a bit kaplunky. But yeah, there you go. That will do me. Right, uh, on that one, we'll quit. See ya, bye.